This is Emma News and I am live on the farm of Jerry Carbon of Capuchin. As we plot the farm, we will begin showcasing the plot of cucumbers. I am half an acre of cucumbers, Eureka, specifically for I mean, local consumption and export market. So that's a new canopy just established for uh, production this coming season. So it will be planted during the mid hurricane season. So uh, that's for passion fruit specifically. Passion fruit, but you need to crop first, first of all with carrots, red fruit. By the time you have the carrots, the passion fruits are ready to, to cover. This one is a plot that's already made its time. So we're just doing a final harvest this season and then regroup. It's normally done like every three years. And that's the shell from the pulping operation. So tell us about the passion fruit pulping. Um, normally during the peak season, the sale tend to drop a bit. So in order that you store and make use of the raw material, you pulp, store, so when it's out of season, we have the supply and presently we have supply across i mean for the entire year so there's nothing as off season from naptha farm storage pulp well pulled and preserved for later so if you're looking for passion fruit that is already pulp contact jerry carbon avocados that area but as you can see the impact most of the bananas semi broken as you can see the students can have been hit so they are out for the past three and two months so you find quite a few of them just breaking no wind but just breaking Okay, as you can see, those are cucumbers. We do a free one in terms of establishment, right? To maximize profit. Those cucumbers, this one peppers. So to every plant, we have two cucumbers, one pepper. So every twenty with one passion fruit. So we do three in one. So at the end of the day, you really maximize the profit. So at the end of the day, you will have cucumbers. Kukuma comes Pe in like five weeks. Okay. Peppers comes in like a, you want to take eight weeks. And then the passion, passion fruit. Passion fruit, 90 days. Wow. Because you feed them three in one. Um, with irrigation, sprinkler, and you fruit you get. Plus you use um, normal fertilizer. That plot contains uh, just about 12,000 plants. So we rotate on a, a fruit with it. Do you do, you do seedlings or yes. you buy the seeds? No, seedlings. I have a mini nursery at home. One employee handles that full time. Only seedlings. How long have you been in farming? For 25 years, average. How, what would you say about farming? Um, the most beneficial business, even not after the COVID, but presently, is agriculture. Just need the correct product, correct timing, best quality. Do you have a market fine. for your products? Yes, actually, you cannot meet demand. So the market is open and it's, the demand is extremely high. 
especially now when most persons tend to be reluctant that the sale would have been there even if the dropping of your business is locally the regional countries demand have doubled in like the past months so what what about access to to getting this produce out of dominica access remain open so that's one area we can we should capitalize on in terms of re, i mean regrooming the economy right now there's nothing to depend solely on i would say tourism or anything of that sort but agriculture remain the main state to me but it's a continuous process as you i mean aware it's something you cannot really stop These challenges will come but you have just have to keep fighting and keep the production going you have people that depend on the products you have persons who depend on the employment is just a continuous process. This is a greenhouse filled with bell peppers. Just have three different varieties in terms of the colors. It's offer, that's the that's the variety. However, we have the yellow, red, and orange. So that's the yellow, red, orange. It's still green, it turns orange. As soon as they met you. Wow. Oh god, too good. They also raise animals. We have some lovely bunny rabbits here. Give the young people some advice. What would you say to them in terms of farming? Um, first of all, I must say, farmers, um, young persons who are involved in farming, they are basically ready to move forward. Because right now, food security is key, and most countries are pushing for that, and we are not an exception in Dominica. And right now, I think we need more support than before because as our old farmers are moving on, moving on younger persons need to replace it to have some level of continuity. So I'm appealing to young persons, get involved, you can get a business that really works for you. They need some cucumbers, they need some bell peppers, they need passion Certainly, fruit. Correct. How can they contact you? Uh, contact me directly WhatsApp, 245 <laughs> Security is man first priority For nothing is more important than feeding the people And it's agriculture that makes everything else possible So how then can it be in this agricultural country My government looks down on the farming community and places its emphasis on the tourism industry Don't they know everything needs the soil to survive Without it, no industry can ever thrive So we must embrace agriculture Before we promote tourism It's time and it's season As the world economy continues to fall Tourist boats will change the ports of call Then guess what? Jump high, jump low We must go back to the side Jump high, jump low We must go back, back to the side
food security is man first priority For nothing is more important than feeding the people And it's agriculture that makes everything else possible So how then can it be in this agricultural country My government looks down on the farming community and places its emphasis on the tourism industry Don't they know everything needs the soil to survive Without it, no industry can ever thrive So we must embrace agriculture Before we promote tourism Time and its season As the world economy continues to fall Tourist boats will change the ports of call Then guess what? Jump high, jump low We must go back to the sun Jump high, jump low We must go back, back to the sun